Oh yeah. Hey everybody, David the Van Villain here. And today we are going to showcase the Cummins turbo diesel that I installed in the Blueberry bus here. This is a 1996 Chevrolet P30 and I installed a 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel. Let's take a look. All right, we're in the bus. I got the doghouse pulled off. Let's check out this motor. So here's the 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel 12 valve engine. And uh, a couple things that I did to it um, is I put this heat blanket on here to help with the heat coming off the exhaust manifold to make it a little bit more comfortable when um, it's a little bit warmer outside. Keep that heat from coming in the cabin area. You can see I put this sound deadening and heat shield in. <clears throat> Around where the doghouse mounts, just to keep that noise down. I did that on top of the doghouse as well. Just to isolate some of that sound and that drone when you're on the highway. I also wrapped the, um, the downpipe in some heat wrap to keep it all under control. But uh, other than that, it was a little bit of a struggle to find that perfect mounting point, but it just fit pretty nice in here. Um, I, I would say I had to modify the floorboard a little bit right here to make room for the injection pump. But I think uh, most people would say it almost looked like it was destined to be in here. I fabricated my own motor mounts. We'll go underneath there and check it out. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, fire it up for you guys. I incorporated the factory speedometer to keep track of the original miles on the motor. And I incorporated the factory tack. But I used aftermarket gauges to run my coolant temp at my exhaust gas temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, boost gauge, and at my tranny temp gauge. Also got my fuel gauge up here. So for the sake of reliability, I eliminated the fuel shutoff solenoid that turns it on and off. And I just put this choke cable here. So if you push it in, it's on. And if you pull it out, it's off. So I just never had to, I didn't want to worry about that fuel solenoid um, giving out on me. So as long as that's pushed in, and then you're good to crank it up. Pull the choke lever, just like that. Okay, so underneath the hood now, um, I used a radiator that came out of, it was meant to be for like an 80s Chevy pickup truck, and it just fit perfect. Dual core uh, aluminum radiator, and the intercooler came out of a 96 Dodge Ram 3500, and it fit perfect. It wrapped around that radiator perfectly. And a lot of this was built with just stuff I had laying around too. Like I had these, this intercooler piping laying around and I just trimmed it to fit. It just so happens I had the right bends that I needed. Um, same for this air filter. I pulled it off of a commercial box truck and um, it, it meets the needs uh, for air filtration. Funny thing is, is when I pop this hood, I realized I left this belt here for when I changed the belt on my last vacation. That thing rode all the way from Florida to Arkansas. It was just, just rode just like that. How the heck did that thing not fall and how did I not realize it? Um, this is an external tranny filter. I just put right here um, just so I can change it easily. Um, and that's ran into this um, transmission cooler that I put in. Um, let's see, let's go underneath and check out the motor mounts. Okay, 
So a lot of people that are wanting to install a Cummins turbo diesel in their application, one thing they're worried about is the motor mounts or wanting to see somebody's design. So these are the motor mounts that I fabricated for this setup. Motor mount brackets and these generic fluid filled mounts, you can get them from a company called Mill Supply and uh, they work great for handling this uh, Cummins turbo diesel. Just fabricated a cross brace to connect the two front motor mounts and made a bracket to go right up to that um, the mounting points on the engine. It works out really well. This thing hardly moves at all. Uh, I'm very happy with the motor mounts on here. Now with it running here, what do you guys think? It, you think it's too loud or? I guess it could be a little bit more quiet. Um, I put a Banks high flow muffler on it. So it's just straight pipe to that Banks high flow muffler. And this comes out to this kick here. Me personally, I like to hear a little bit of the sound of the turbo and I like the roar of the motor. So um, I could quiet it up, but what do you guys think? Now that I got the doghouse on, you guys get a feel for how loud it is inside. It's really not that bad. So this is the factory shift selector from the RV that this drivetrain was taken out of. So all you gotta do is put your foot on the brake, hit the drive button. Now we got six gears to go. Let's go for a little drive here. People are just trying to get out of my way. <laughs> A whole different experience with the 5.9 Cummins than with the 6.5 liter diesel that was in here from the factory. It can pull now. This is not what you would expect when hopping behind the wheel of a short bus. All right, let's turn out onto the streets and let's roll into it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's the power we were looking for. There, oh yeah, okay. That's what I like to see. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but just the sounds are amazing on this thing. You can't help but have a smile on your face when you drive it. You get that feeling when you're... You just wouldn't think that the bus would bring you that happy feeling when you hit the throttle. Yeah, you think a Corvette or 
something would, but somehow this bus manages to give you all those same feelings when you hit the throttle. The sound of the turbo, the roar of the motor, like you can't help but smile when you're driving the thing. So let's address the elephant in the room. Was it worth it? And you know what, short answer, I'm gonna say yes. After hitting that throttle, feeling that, that torque underneath the seat, getting to the top speed of 80 miles an hour, as opposed to a top speed of 55 miles an hour, uh, while maintaining the same fuel economy and adding reliability to the vehicle. The original engine usually typically only lasted about 300,000 miles at best for the 6.5 liter diesel. Now, this 5.9 liter diesel can last over 500,000 miles easily if well maintained. So, added power, reliability, speed, What's not the like? I'm gonna say yes, go for the Cummins Turbo Diesel Swap.